15 penetrators from Underwood. Here we go. Open the chronograph. Let's see how many reads we can get. Son of a bitch. I just shot my chronograph. Oh, crap. It went off before I was ready. I was pulling up. Crap. Let's see the damage. I'll help you get one, man. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> I was pulling up and it, it like I touched the trigger too soon. It's that hair trigger. That hair trigger, I wasn't used to that. I'll help you get one, man. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's my fault. Son of a bitch. Okay, well we can do the penetration test on mine and on yours. At least you got the rifles done. Yeah, seriously. Oh, it's always something. Well, you can tell that the 454 had some good power because it went completely through the chronograph. Yeah, I, I was raising up on the chronograph and with the hair trigger and I, I like aimed at the chronograph and it was going up above it and it went off. Like I had my finger too far on the trigger with it being so cold. You know, no excuses. It's but, Wild uh, West Gun's fault. Hair no, trigger. No, it's my fault. So, yeah, I shot my chronograph like an idiot. So, Chuke's going to bust me for it. I just wanted to show the penetration of it. Yeah. 454 Kasuo Extreme Penetrators. what kind of damage we did. What? All right, let's see how we did. Well, split the wood. Split the wood. You came and hit right along the side. You jerked it down and to the left. Idiot, every time. At least I can hit my chronograph, right? And no. into here, and it probably went out the bottom and into my table. Nope. Nope. It's in there. It's in there? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, it might be in that hole, or it could be that hole. I don't know. It's this hole. Okay. I think that's just splinters of wood that got shattered. Ah. Uh, no, it did come out the bottom. Well. No, actually. Is that a bullet? Yeah, it's right here. It didn't go that deep into the... No, it didn't. Into the newspapers. I told you it'd be good stopped in one. Uh, Probably because you hit the table, too. Yeah. Interesting. Can't get it out. Get my, get my finger in there deep, deep enough. Oh, wow. Smushed it. Yeah, that, those dinner plates do a number on these things. Wow, so that didn't penetrate that far, really. Yeah, I, I think hard cast lead's the way to go, personally. Yeah. That's probably. just me. I mean, I recommend hard cast lead over extreme penetrators. Extreme penetrators will do the job yeah. in a stock Glock barrel. Right. But And I use them in my 4570 because... They do a good job and they're not overly recoiled like the 420 grain hard cast or something like that. But a revolver. But a revolver, stick with your hard cast. Yeah. Same amount of recoil. It's a lot of energy though. What, it went through about four and a half inches of wood, a dinner yeah. plate. Yeah, this dinner plate is, you know, that thick of ceramic right there, a little bit thicker on the bottom part of it. And then it was like stopped right here. There's by the bottom about part, yeah. Maybe two, an inch or two of paper. Uh, about, about two, yeah, about two inches of paper. Interesting. So. And paper stops bullet pretty good. And this is not regular paper. This is that harder news flyer stuff. It's stacked in there pretty good. So it probably went through 20 or 30 of those Cabela sales flyers. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that definitely will, uh, it'll penetrate a bear skull. Yeah. I mean, I'm not worried about it. if you hit a bear in the skull, I wouldn't worry about it with a 454 and extreme penetrators. Right. But I still think hard cast. If you have to, if you only get a body shot off, if it's you're charging quickly, yeah. you know, you're going to be better off with hard cast, I think. I think you're right. Yep. Underwood Extreme Penetrators. Yep. Not bad. Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Like, share, and subscribe. Support them on Patreon. Better than a sharpened stick. That's for sure. Thanks. Better than your brothel in Asia. What? Nothing. Outdoor Adventures. No!